Here we go. Barbados, here we come. We have just arrived at our hotel for the first two or three nights, which is the Cobbler's Cove, and we are coming straight away for sundowners in front of the sea. I could kill a rum punch. Hello, my angels. Welcome back to Vlogmas. Well, I say Vlogmas. It's definitely a very different vlog than probably what you're used to at this time of year, but as always, I want to be as real as possible and share my real life with you, and that's something that I, I think is extremely important, and it was definitely something that I, I worried about, actually, whether I was gonna share it or not, and then I thought, do you know what? Considering you, fingers crossed, love the content that I share, I thought that you will love this and that's why I'm filming it. So, you've seen a very Christmassy intro which, oh, I still watch it and I still get a tear in my eye. It still gives me goosebumps and I, I just love it so much. You then have seen taking off in England and landing in Barbados. So. Welcome to Barbados. This is going to be the most beautiful vlog you have ever seen. We have literally just arrived at Cobbler's Cove. You will be able to hear the frogs outside. Yes, they are frogs. <laughs> literally dropped our bags off at reception, went straight to the beautiful terrace that they have directly in front of the most beautiful ocean the sunset everything was just spine tingling it is stunning and this vlog is going to be an extremely special one mostly because you are going to see two of my very very best friends wedding they have agreed for me to film it and you all loved the wedding that I filmed in Portugal so you know what, I, I feel like you're all going to love this one too. So this vlog is going to be come to Barbados with me and experience the most breathtaking wedding on the beach. So this vlog is going to be all about celebrating their love from the most incredible views, the most beautiful weddings, food, family, everything. It's just going to be simply spine tingling and I cannot wait to share everything with you. So just before we head to dinner, we have just been shown our suite and it is a princess suite. It is a pink, extremely 
extravaganza. And so before my husband makes a bomb side of the bathroom whilst he gets ready for dinner, I thought I would give you a very quick hotel suite tour. So let's take a look around. So this is our suite. We are staying in the Hopewell suite. And this is the stunning, I mean, have you ever seen something quite so beautiful? So this is our living room. I mean, I am just in love with the lamp. I need to work out a way to get that into my suitcase <laughs> and to take it home. So we have a gorgeous living room here couple of sofas. As I said, it literally is a princess suite. It is pink to perfection. My husband and my mother, the two people that you love probably more than me. Look at the state of them. Hello, too many rum punches. <laughs> Mummy, you're a diva and you're outrageous, but I love you. Say hi to everybody. Hello. Hello. Too many rum punches on their sun loungers Hello, overlooking the most exquisite gardens. Whilst you two stay there catching up, let's have a quick look at our beautiful room. So we've got a little like breakfast table here. Mummy's already eyeing up the cockerel artwork. It's stunning. And then we have a little bit of a kitchenette. And is that not the sweetest thing you have ever seen? The scalloped shelving and the raffia baskets. I mean, they have literally designed this little kitchenette for me. So we have a kettle, we've got our cafetiere there for the morning for coffee. And it's just a really lovely way in the morning to wake up, make a cup of tea, cup of coffee, and sit out on our terrace in the morning. This is going to be my office setup. So I'll have the computers, hard drives, chargers, everything set up there for calls. Gorgeous little living room. And then we go into the boudoir. An enormous bed, another lamp that I am swooning over. And look at this gorgeous bedding. It is absolutely stunning. So much luggage, <laughs> excuse the luggage. And then a beautiful dressing table set up. Again, gorgeous lamps, beautiful mirror. The perfect little setup here with the tissues. And I will never get over the gorgeous fabrics that they have in this hotel. So as I said, we're staying in Cobbler's Cove for three nights and it is fully decked out in sewn fabrics. We then have a walk-in wardrobe, literally. I told you it was designed for us. <laughs> and then we've got a long mirror. Mm -hmm. So I did a very quick change on the aeroplane, popped a white linen dress on because it is currently about 29, 30 degrees and it is in fact uh, 8.30 at night so i am going to have a quick freshen up before dinner i'm going to have a very quick shower because it has been a long flight and pop on what we call a bit of a moo moo which is a long kaftan it's glamorous yet it is relaxed and as you can see the hair is scraped back but let me show you the bathroom of dreams i'm going to be doing a full bathroom, Bayesian style. How pretty is this? The tiles on the floor, even the window, the enormous shower. I can't believe I'm showing you a loo right now. This is not what you're expecting to see on my YouTube channel, but do you not think that this is the prettiest bathroom? Look at this shell mirror. It is just the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. I mean, look at the state of me in the mirror. <laughs> but look at the details. It is all about the details and I need to know where these exquisite lights are from. But I think my most favorite thing is actually going to be the his and hers matching ropes. I'm going to beg him. I'm gonna beg him. <laughs> Manifest it for me. The pink and the blue robes on the balcony overlooking the garden having coffee in the morning, it's going to be a vibe. It is going to be a vibe. So, I'm gonna have a very quick freshen up. I'm not sure whether I'm going to film dinner. Maybe, maybe, we'll see, we'll see. But as I said, this is going to be the most beautiful, filled with so much 
love vlog. Lots of sunshine, not the normal December content that you're used to, but hopefully just that little hint of freshness that you need to just spice things up a little bit in December. So as I said, there's going to be one vlog from the wedding and a second vlog from a full family holiday. So buckle up. It's going to be beautiful. The noise of the frogs is just amazing. So I'm just walking through the gardens. Look at all these beautiful pink, <laughs> pink houses all around the garden. And then this is the main clubhouse. I'm just going to walk through to the most breathtaking view over the ocean. The waves are crashing against the rocks and we are going to be having the most delicious dinner. But this is just incredible and look at the interior. Let's go to the very first dinner tonight. everybody and what a spectacular day it is gosh I hear those waves I cannot wait for day one Marcus has got his little trunks on and is ready for brekkie and crispy bacon overlooking the most beautiful view of the ocean and my husband. <laughs> and Marcus went with baked eggs this morning. Oh, literally heaven on earth. After the most heavenly day by the pool, we are ready for the first lunch. So we are heading to Lone Star and then actually directly to the Welcome Drinks, which is at the homeowners on Sandy Lane Beach, which is just heavenly. Had a bit of a nightmare with the Dyson, I must admit. So hair is very au natural, which do you know what? I think it goes with the vibe. So I'm wearing the beautiful Aqua by Benita dress. This is the one that I wore to my brother's 30th. I just think it's really pretty and it suits both lunch and the welcome drinks this evening. I popped on a pair of wedges I think I've had for about 10 years. I think they're Kate Spade. Could be Tory Burch, we'll check later <laughs> and let you know. And then I've got the beautiful pearls on from Gingerberry. And that is the wonderful thing about pearls. You can dress them up, dress them down. You could be in snowy England on the lead up to Christmas, or I could be wearing them on the beach in Barbados. Anyway, so this is outfit number one. Let's head to Lone Star for lunch. We have just arrived at Lone Star. 
It's so divine to be back. Hi there, how are you? Good, good. Oh gosh, look at the view. So the tables are all down, literally on the beach. It's one of my favorite places. Just got to our table. What a view and what a menu. Oh my goodness. <gasps> decisions, decisions. So first day in Barbados, what do we think? Very tough. He's having a terrible time as you can see. <laughs> what a day. What a day. So we're going to have a spot of lunch and then we're heading over to the homeowner's beach at Sandy Lane for the welcome drinks. So the wedding festivities are beginning today. Cannot wait to see the bride and groom. And it's just going to be the most incredible weekend filled with so much love. Oh, got a delicious bottle of mini tea. <laughs> that will set things off. We will be very merry <laughs> at the drinks party this evening. Oh gosh, how incredible is this? Feeling so beyond lucky. We have just arrived at the Sandy Lane Homeowners Beach. <gasps> Day one, the first of the wedding activities, and I cannot wait. Where is the bride? She's gonna be in white. And look at this view. Oh my gosh, look at this view. Good morning, my darlings. We are up 
bright eyed and bushy tailed. We've just got to the <laughs> Colony Club. I'm in my bridesmaids swimsuit and today we are going on a catamaran. So it is boat day. All the girls are looking like supermodels on the beach. Look at them, the bride is in white of course. And look at her bride tribe. Look at these sexy girls. Oh my goodness me. So the boat is literally just there. We're gonna have some gorgeous photographs taken with the most beautiful backdrop. Look at the ocean this morning. And it is going to be the best day. at this oh my goodness the water is so beautiful I cannot wait I hope you're all really, really well. Another beautiful day here in paradise, and it is a very exciting one. We are only just a couple of days away from the wedding, and it is going to be incredible. And the bride and groom have literally organized the most insane itinerary. So a few of us girls are heading off to ride horses on the beach today. Here comes one of the riders this morning. Are you ready? I am ready, very excited. Look at you, ready to ride horses, oh, glowing no. like a bronzed <laughs> goddess. It is going to be insane. Here comes the taxi. Are you ready to ride some horses? Ready. Here are the beach gals. Let's do this. Looking beautiful, helmet heads but stunning. Look at the backdrop. You guys can't see it, but this is absolutely exquisite. Look at these gals. All the ponies with their plaits. Elise, how are we feeling? The horse. Oh, being very naughty. You ready to gallop? Gallop on the beach. And we're on. I've re-saddled, re-bridled, and a million apparently likes to buck, bite, and kick. <laughs> Yay for me. <laughs> but look at how incredible this is. Absolutely amazing. Okay, we're gonna have lots of fun, lots of kisses and cuddles. You don't need to buck and bite with me, I promise you. I'm gonna look after you. Literally the best feeling on the entire world is sat on his back looking in between a million's ears on the beach in literally paradise. Oh my goodness, the sound of the waves. I've ridden a lot of horses in a lot of different countries and this is extremely special. Hey little man, what do you think? What's that? Did you say turtles? Are we doing team? Yeah! <laughs> this is incredible! Might be a bit um, wobbly. 
Wish us luck, it's going to be mega! Darling Lucy with me. We've just done the full rehearsal, the walkthrough. We've been up and down that aisle a hundred times, yeah. but I think we've got it, haven't we? Yeah, we're there. We're there, we're there. We we've there. worked out the timings of the song. I've cried a hundred times. I can't actually believe it's Mark and my wedding song. When they started playing, I was like, oh my gosh, it was amazing. It literally yeah. lump in the throat kind of stuff. But um, anyway, so we are actually off duty now so we've come to the pool at the beautiful colony club which is where the wedding is tomorrow and we're gonna have a relatively chilled one aren't we yeah. we're gonna sunbathe yeah. we're gonna swim we're gonna have a mango smoothie and we're just gonna relax. Be relax yeah a lot of girls yeah. <laughs> a lot of stress <laughs> working out timings we deserve a mango smoothie yay cheers everybody what a magical day. I'm so sorry that I haven't filmed that much. It's just been a really chilled one with so many of our friends. I spent the day on the beach, sunbathing, a few little water sports, lots of swimming, and a fair few cocktails, if truth be known. And it is the day before the wedding. Lots of rehearsals, lots of run-throughs. We know what we're doing. Fingers crossed, <laughs> we do as we're told. And it's just going to be so beautiful and it's going to be filled with so much love and it's actually going to be a really, really emotional one. It's been a really tough year for them and it's finally here and we're in one of the most beautiful places in the entire world and we all come here to celebrate them and celebrate their love. So it is going to be magical. But I just want to actually turn around the camera because this is quite something. Oh. <laughs> that guy just tripped behind me. That's embarrassing. <laughs> anyway, let's turn this camera around and show you the most beautiful view. The sun has literally just set. The waves are rolling in. Oh, and another day in paradise. Well, I safely made it to the boat. The most breathtaking sunset of all time. The boys are here. Say hello to everybody on YouTube. Hello everybody. Hi everybody. We've got Ronaldo, who is our captain, who is an absolute legend. And look at 
it's this view. It is quite something. The beautiful purples, yellows, blues, and the sea is just so calm. So we have about a half an hour trip along the Barbados coastline back to our villa. Good morning, my angels. It is officially wedding day. I'm so excited. It is going to be the most incredible day. The sun is shining. It is the most beautiful weather, wall to wall sunshine. What you would expect, of course, in Barbados. The rollers in, absolutely no makeup on because I am ready and prepped for the makeup artist and the hairstylist. I've literally just arrived at the Colony Club. So the wedding is literally happening on the beach. It is going to be so stunning. And then we are going to be having the wedding breakfast on the decking overlooking the ocean. It truly is going to be breathtaking. Anyway, as I said, I've literally just arrived. Hair is already in the rollers, setting, ready for the hairstylist to do his magic. I'm gonna go and find the girls in their suite. We're gonna have lots of champagne and get ready together. We are getting ready in Naomi and Sam's room for all the girls. Here he is, here's Sam. Say hello to everybody. Hello everybody. I'm gonna go and find the girls. So they have a beautiful swim up suite. So these are the gorgeous suites here at the Colony Club. And you go round. So we are, all the girls are going to get ready in at Naomi and Sam's because there's lots of mess. There they are out there on the terrace, enjoying the sunshine. And then we will go into the bridal suite, just so that there's not too much mess or makeup on the floor or straighteners. You know what girls are like with all their makeup bags. And just so that Christy can get ready in peace. Here we go. They are in room 135. Ooh, this looks beautiful. All the gorgeous girlies. I see glasses and I see champagne. Right. Who is ready for drinky poos? It's wedding day! Let's open this up. I'm looking like a naked mole rat. Oh, I'm really girl. hoping that a little bit of makeup and a good hairstylist can get us looking. Ooh. mode. I've got the 111 skin black diamond eye masks on because they are, in all honesty, the very best. And hopefully they are going to make me look wide awake and glowing. We've had a slight issue. Um, the makeup artist is now not coming. <laughs> Great! And um, the hairstylist is an hour and a half late. So, me and my Dyson skills have done myself. Lucy is all beautifully Dysoned up to perfection. My next victim is down here and we are pinning, praying that the hairstylist is going to in fact turn up and finish it off. We're not holding um, out too much. Though. We're not holding out. This Bayesian time is, um, is, is a worry. Anywho, right, I've got my next one, so um, I've got to go. Well, after Dysoning Dyson a fair few girls' hair, the um, hairstylist has finally arrived, so thank goodness. And then in about half an hour, I'm going to be taking these slugs off of my face and try and make myself look into a golden bronzed bridesmaid of dreams. <laughs> and then it's almost like time to go. So the hair is being put back. We're doing half up, half down. Cute little twisting at the back. Beautiful, very glowy, minimalistic, sort of like bronzed golden makeup vibes. And then we are going to be heading over to the bridal suite to see Christy. We're going to do the reveal. What do they call it? They call it like the unveiling moment. Or the first look. Was it the first look? Mm, I think the unveil. The unveiling. So she's going to come out in her wedding dress. And I'm so glad that we are actually going to be able to capture everything. So you are going to be able to see the entire day. It is going to be so beautiful. We are literally in paradise and um, I'm just so excited. It's gonna be stunning and to celebrate Charlie and Christy underneath the most stunning blue skies. 
and yeah it's gonna be a gorgeous day so hopefully by the time you next see me I'm going to look somewhat more presentable than I currently do the gents are swimming up to the room good thing the bride is not in here you're very lucky so you boys having a good time had a few beers feeling relaxed the groom the groom one big it just took the edge off the nerves off how are you feeling you're ready I think I'll say yes <laughs> I should like to think so, otherwise I think it would all kill you. <laughs> yeah. We are all ready, all full glammed up and on the way to see the bride for the first time today. Here we go, we are going into the bridal suite. All these gorgeous girlies, Nay looking stunning behind the curtain. <gasps> Here we go! is de-steamed, sorry about the lighting. All the girls are waiting in the bridal suite. We are waiting to see Christine. Is curtain closed? Curtain closed, no problem, curtain's closed. We're waiting for the big reveal. Here we go. Oh my goodness, here she is. Oh, this looks so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Pickies on the beach in our robes, literally in front of the ocean. This is going to be beautiful. A little sneak peek of the aisle. The arch looks so beautiful. Gosh, it's going to be incredible. The pictures are done on the beach and the rose. Look at these beauties. And it is now time to get in the dress. Press shoulders back, tits and teeth, ladies. The girls are in their dresses. Oh, beautiful. Give us a twirl, Millie. Give us a twirl. Beautiful bow. I'm loving it. So we've gone with champagne. Yes, champagne to match the champagne. Love it. Beach wedding. True Christie style. style. Girls, how are we feeling? Are you ready for this? How long have we been waiting for this day? Yeah, so you've been best friends with Christy since when? Uh, we've known her, what, you've known her a little bit longer, 15 years. Nearly Gosh. two decades. Two decades. Two decades. Two decades. You don't look old enough to know her for two decades, but... Yeah. She always looked beautiful though, so... So Christy is literally you, just yeah, about yeah. to get into her dress. Yeah. Oh, Gracie, do you want to come say Gracie hi to YouTube? Soon. Look at Gracie in her flower girl dress. The father of the bride has just arrived and been told to leave. <laughs> Christy is not ready. Back. She's not ready yet. So Christy is... She, she, like... Are you ready? Oh, we're almost ready. Christy is literally almost getting ready. into her dress and we're going to have the big reveal she, she, moment. She, yeah. Oh gosh, I'm going to cry. It's going to be amazing. We can't wait. <laughs> Christy's bride try. <laughs> We've got a beautiful bow at the back. Beautiful champagne satin bridesmaids dresses. We've got a little bit of a golden glow. Slight hint of lobster. But we're rocking it. Lucy's looking like an utter supermodel over here. I mean, I'm not sure I can stand next to this. This is just too much, too beautiful. But we are literally T minus two minutes until we get to see Christy in the most breathtaking gown of all time. So 
my soul in love. I share within the love of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So the photographs are done and my bridesmaids duties of primping the train are finished and so I'm now going to give you guys a sneak peek of the tablescapes. I honestly felt honoured when Christy asked my opinion when it came to the tablescapes and I said go minimalistic, go natural because I think it's fair to say that is the wow moment. So she's gone with beautiful Grand Prix roses, spray roses, gypsophilia, the most stunning foliage here, just all gathered throughout the most stunning candles. And each candle is personalizing Mr. and Mrs. Gordon or Barbados 2023. And it's just stunning. Now, one thing I actually didn't tell you and something that I think it's important to mention because Today is not only emotional because it's a wedding day and we're celebrating love, but also Charlie and Christy have actually had a really, really tough year. Very, very sadly lost Charlie's father at the very beginning of this year. And I think it's fair to say that Barbados was his place. So they definitely wanted to do it in Barbados. And so they have a little testament to Keith here and it says, a drink to Keith forever in our hearts. And of course we're in Barbados, so it had to be Mount Gay Rum. And um, oh God, I'm... <sighs> And I just think it's so wonderful and um, today has just been absolutely beautiful but I think it's safe to say that it looks absolutely beautiful so they've gone with the rattan table mats every guest has a beautiful handwritten letter and it's just a personal little note gorgeously tied napkins and then we have the menus here so gorgeous scalloped edges 
and the menu this evening is grilled mahi-mahi, coconut shrimp, garlic shrimp, curry chicken, yellowfin tartar, a poached tiger prawn, smoked salmon, ribeye beef, the sides of absolute dreams and then a oh. zillion desserts. Oh. I think they're testing the music already and it is absolutely gorgeous. I just feel so emotional that we're here and it's finally happening. Look at the top table. It looks incredible. And of course, it wouldn't be a Charlie and Christy wedding if there wasn't a neon sign. And it is the neon sign of the year, the Gordons. And look at that backdrop just breathtaking so today well all week we have been celebrating the gordons and they have officially done it gosh but we've still got the whole night the evening is young and it is going to be spectacular Gosh, I tell you what, I've had my fair share of rum punches so far, but I'm gonna have a few more. <laughs> so each table is named after a different hotel. So this actually is top table. I am desperate for a rum punch, but I just cannot get over these stunning tablescapes. It's rustic, it's minimalistic, but it is breathtaking. Speech on the beach. What? And apart from when you were first born, uh, to me, I've never seen you as beautiful as I have just seen you today. <laughs> Over the years, your mum and I had always hoped that your future husband would be a kind and caring person. Oh, also, <laughs> thankfully, somebody who plays golf with you guys. <laughs> I feel we thank for raising Charlie to be the kind and caring and thoughtful person that he is. Yeah, here, here, here. Well, yeah. Cheers to that. Peace. Yes. Peace. Um, I think Chris is married into a wonderful family. And Lynn and I are delighted now to be an extended part of the Gordon clan. Uh, in turn, we welcome Charlie to our family. And yes, I may have lost a daughter, but I've gained another coffee. Uh, not coffee, but that's <laughs> <laughs> We hope you're having a wonderful time and are looking forward to this evening as much as we are. Again, please do try and grab a bottle of wine before Mum and Amanda drink it all. We already have, don't worry. I thought, I thought I'd start with the toughest part of the speech. I have many thank yous. But the first I need to start with the biggest, and that's my dad. His love Barbados provide us both with the idea and opportunity to do this probably been the toughest time of our lives, but his support through years has made this all possible. With that in mind, please look to the table and have a sea of my dad's favourite rum. Those shots. <laughs> That's his old shot. That's his old shot. That's a hundred mil. And have a little drink to Keith, my dad. To Keith. To Keith. Bridget and Linda the new in-laws. <laughs> Richard, thank you for letting me win at golf so often. <laughs> With a, a bad back, bad ankle, bad knee, poor sleep, early start, cold weather, man flu, slow play. It's always a pleasure to beat you. <laughs> Linda, 
I always knew you'd be good fun. <laughs> From our first meeting at Royal Ascot to dancing on tables at Sandy Lane. Your love for Christy is unwavering. The sport you give is incredible. This is best shown by your mobile phone activity. A common theme. <laughs> on a number of occasions, we have woken up to 10, 15, 20 missed calls. <laughs> Only to find out everything's fine, you just want to say hello. <laughs> on a serious note, I wanted to thank you both for raising such a strong and beautiful young woman. Chrissy's work ethic and drive are a testament to the job that you've both done. Thank you, and cheers to them. Cheers. 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 Woo. Thank you for agreeing to marry me. You look beautiful. No surprise, you always do. Woo! Here with you has made me the happiest man in the world. You're always there for your friends and family. More importantly, you're always there for me. <laughs> so, as a final toast, can you all stand and raise a glass to my beautiful wife, Woo! Christy Gordon? Thank you.